hello and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to share you user creation request process hi friends my name is ali Riza zaidi i am erp consultant currently working for business experts gulf in the middle east region my friends in dc5 for finance and operation there is a complete process for user creation request there is a workflow there are sub tasks that automatic automatically create user into the d65 for finance and operations that suppose that hr department create a new employee or a worker and they want that this worker must be able to log in into the system so for this they create a user creation request and interestingly that uh, form also provide the option to suggest that these roles must be assigned to that worker that workflow or that process has a multiple advantage that one way we automate user creation process and we have only guy suggested guy or higher management or system administrator have just approved and perform some steps user is automatically created second we have the second advantage is uh, definitely use when we create a user we have to consume some lessons so we have to control that process that when management decided or approve the user request user is created and in for audit purpose we have a reference so let's go towards d 5 for finance and operation and first of all we have to see what comes or how the workflow is configured with contoso data so my friends go for this we have to go in a system administrator and here is a user workflow before creating a new workflow i'm going to explore what is already existing into the system so here is this workflow a title is little wrong but when we are going to configure it so what will be the process let's see first of all it comes to for question provisioning user or create so default is a add new user request action type is add new user so it goes to approval user pro step and here uh, if i go on a property this goes to my user and admin currently okay and then i go level up here is send a you request that is out that is a task uh, that comes with the dc5 for finance and operation after its approval they it will take another approval assignment is the system admin and if i go one level up then it, there will be automatic task it gives it gives a provision notify a new user out of the box automated provision user one which means automatically user is created and then notified that user and the process is completed so for making little short i am going to delete this step and automatically assign to this right and i am saving this workflow and i'm skipping the skipping one step click ok and activate this version okay now i'm going to create a new user new worker for this i'm going to human resource and click on a worker and here i create a new worker so i am going to create run ranja jogi so i hired that guy and if i'm going to user request click on a user request 
I'm going to create a worker user request. Click on it. So I have their option. I have to search the guy. Ranja, search it. Search the Ranjan. So that guy I selected. So I am here adding his fake ID. Ranja at the red live dot com Rim Ranja Jogi and I'm going to also suggest some roles please please clerk and save this user okay from here workflow So request is gone. Let's see, wait for the workflow processing and then see it goes to next step. Our workflow uh, goes into next step. Our workflow goes into next step and currently is assigned to my user. And uh, either for this, I have to go. Desktop and you can see here is the option pop up and uh, uh, notified and here is the option that new workflow is coming and second way is that we have go to a human resource and here is worker user request from here this is our workflow and i select it and double click on it and from here i approved it okay and see here so next step is to create uh, a your user a your subscription user request to that employee or that email address so we have to wait so in our next step that uh, we already see in the configuration of our workflow we see that it goes for approval for that user is created in Azure AD, Azure AD or uh, Azure Active Directory that the same ID I already created and I am going to approve this. Uh, I have to complete this because there is a subtask. So I complete this task and now I am waiting for for next step so i am going back into modules where human resource and worker user request so you it's you can see that it's a currently azure ad user invitation status so we already approved that st step and if we, i click on and go for workflow detail you can see it is invitation user group it's been completed now let's see in the next two steps is to create user into the system and send notification so let's wait so our process is completed i refresh it and its process is completed and let's go to see is that user is created into the system or not and if we go to system administrator 
and then user and if I search with this name you can see a new user is created and automatically enabled and if I go in more detail so you can see the user I selected is automatically assigned to that user thank you for watching see you in another video Please subscribe my YouTube channel.